Hi, and welcome to Software Design and Development, Option 2, Lesson 1, ASCII and Unicode. Here are the syllabus dot points, pause if you'd like to read them. So, ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange, and it's a system using 8-bit binary to represent various alphanumeric characters, symbols, and control characters. So, your alphanumeric or your alphabet, such as A, B, C, D, um, and your, character, your numeric, sorry, which is your numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. There's also different representations for capital and lowercase letters. Um, it also represents symbols, so plus, times, exclamation mark, etc. Um, it's important to note it doesn't represent every single symbol, um, but you'll find that every symbol you can represent on a keyboard uh, is represented in ASCII. Um, the other things it has are things like control characters, so backspace, horizontal tab, file separators. So things that don't appear as text but are really important uh, when you're making text documents. Um, if you go into Word, there's an option to show um, formatting characters or show special characters and they'll appear in there. So with ASCII, um, to convert, it's really simple. You need to look up an ASCII table and then um, you'll be able to see the symbols or characters or numbers or whatever. Um, you'll see the binary number for it, you'll see the hexadecimal number for it, and um, probably a decimal representation of it as well. Um, I'll leave a couple of links in the description for you to be able to see some of these tables, and for your exams you'll be required to convert to and from them with reference to a table. So they will supply a table for you to um, refer to. Unicode is a system, a character representation, uh, character representation, sorry, that expands on ASCII. So it's similar, but it's a lot bigger. Um, they worked out that ASCII only works for English, and so we need a lot more characters, especially mathematical things, um, and for languages. So Russian, Greek, um, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, they all use different character sets, um, Arabic. So we need something to be able to convert to those as well. Um, and by having all the character sets in one standard, translation becomes easier because we can map certain letters or certain combinations of letters to um, other letters. So we could take, say, the, the uh, English version of bread and link it to the Chinese version of bread, for instance. Um, and so Unicode then becomes the common standard between all the languages um, with any possible character represented using a hexadecimal Unicode code. Okay. Um, for convenience and compatibility reasons, the values for original ASCII are the same in Unicode. So whatever the character in ASCII was at number 15, it's the same in Unicode. Also, they've also um, duplicated um, different characters to Unicode. So things like pi is represented in the mathematical symbols. It's also in the Greek alphabet section. Um, for convenience, for compatibility with other systems and for utility. So if you're looking for mathematical symbols, you can look at the, the mathematical um, Unicode sections and vice versa. Um, similarly, in the um, HC uh, exam, <coughs> you'll be required to convert to, um, to Unicode and back using a table. Um, they'll supply, <coughs> not the whole table as it represents over a million characters, but um, samples of the table Okay, and you'll need to convert to and from them in a similar way to what you would do with an ASCII. Um, again, I'll include links in the description to some of the tables that you can use.